welcome to Arizona and our hot, hot May day. We're going to pull some cards and see what, if anything, the spirits have to tell us. So uh, let's get started. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to lay nine cards out. I did that the other day with a written reading, and I just can't believe how much came through. It was actually like having about eight sets of triplicates all talking at the same time. Um, so tomorrow, I am so excited, I get the proof author's copy uh, for the new book that's coming out this summer, The Little Handbook of Spiritual Awakening, and I'm excited about that. I still uh, can't give you the due date or any specifics yet. I just will be so happy to see the proof. Um, I love this little book. I, and I think that you will love it as much as I do. Oh, we got some interesting things coming up. This is a uh, vintage tarot, by the way. The newest deck. Um, one more row. So hot. I would have uh, my. I would probably won't wear my hair down now until fall, autumn. <laughs> it should even be up more. I'm hot underneath it. My hair is very heavy, very heavy. Um. Okay. Here we go. And then off the top. And then I like to take off the bottom, middle, top, bottom. When I'm pulling triplicates, that's just my way. It's not a way you have to do it. It's not a wrong or right way. It's just my way. Okay, what do we have here? Well, I can see one family situation where there's a lot of turmoil and there's a lot of uh, chaos and, excuse me, there's just a lot of chaos within a group of people within this family setting, except for this one person. This one person who's just kind of hanging off to the side and they're just kind of quietly watching it all transpire. So what I'm thinking and what comes to mind with the cards here now is like, um, I find it curious that there's an individual like this in such a familial situation. And I do believe all this chaos and questioning and all this hoopla is over money and finances. So does this person either have nothing to lose no matter what the outcome is or do they have a backup plan and they'll just watch all these other people fight and disagree and stamp their feet and and will this person actually come out ahead by saying nothing so that that's the first scenario that i see what else do we see here I see the mediator, the peacekeeper. There is a, that individual standing between two people who are really going to cut each other up with words, two people who are really at odds with each other. They're just like bunching at the bit to say their piece. Probably I have a feeling it feels like their, their piece they want to say will probably be very harsh and destructive and cutting. That's why this person is going, I can just feel them in my head. No, 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 don't say that. It's like, it's like a, I have the feeling of a, a referee in the middle of a boxing ring when they're holding these two people off from each other, but it's not a physical confrontation. It's a verbal confrontation. And, and they're, they're, the fear here is, and I can feel it from this mediator, the fear that they have is that something will be said that you can't take back. Once a word is spoken, once something awful is said, it just it can't be taken back. So this mediator um, is feeling, I feel the, the, um, the anxiety over this situation. Um, although no one watching this individual kind of revering these two individuals will know this. Um, there is the essence of a very calm, very cool, and um, 
surface to this person. So no one's going to see how anxious and really um, horrified they are at the situation. Um, and I, I think like the main star of this, uh, this story the cards are telling me is the mediator. It's not really giving me a lot uh, about the people who are at odds with each other, who are ready to cut each other down or cut each other's throats, <laughs> figuratively speaking. But there's a lot about um, this person in, in the middle, and it, it tells me, like, what is what is the connection to this mediator, to each of these individuals? Um, is there, like, an affection, an equal affection for both of these people, and they just don't want to see this terrible um, rift, this irreparable damage done? Um, is this mediator more connected to one individual than the other? Um, if, uh, if this verbal confrontation takes place, um, does this mediator have something to lose besides just peace, you know? There's a lot of feelings there. I'm sweating. The witch is melting. That's not true. We melt. Yes, we do. It is true. Yeah, that's his. The witch is melting. I was going to say it's not true, but it most definitely is. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> okay. Keep going. We're going to keep going here. We are going to trudge through. If it kills us, and it might because I forgot to bring out water. Okay. Um, the other scenario the cards are telling me is it's someone who really really is up in air. It feels like this is um, a relationship situation. This is someone who is just at a, at a point, they're at a point right now where they just don't know what to do. They don't know what decisions to make. The cards are telling me that they, they're just afraid to do anything because they don't know what to do that is the right thing to do. So they're, they're in their mind, they're going over should I, should I work on this? Should we work on this? And should I stay? And should we see if we can um, figure things out and improve the situation and build from there? Or they're thinking, is it time to throw in the towel? Is it time for just a complete change? Is enough enough and it's time for an enormous transitional change in life? Totally, totally totally starting over. It feels like um, the person caught in this situation is in a very transitory, unpermanent, um, delicate position. Um, and it's, it feels as though this decision and what's going to happen is time sensitive in some way, if that makes any sense. Not that something like this can really can go on forever, you know, anyway, but, but it feels like there's something more to it where everything is just going to fall through and it's not going to be through any of this individual's choices if they don't snap, snap, chop, chop. You can't just let things you can't just let this ride forever. Um, she's got it. It's actually the, the Eight of Swords. Uh, the individual on this card actually just needs to open their eyes, um, be open-minded. Excuse me, just a minute. Okay, as I was saying, um, this this individual, it, it might not be such a physical blindness. It's, it's a mental, emotional blindness to what's going on um, around them. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like they're trying to put off making this really important decision that's going to change a lot of lives. It's like something they can't face, but you're going to face it anyway. If this is you, if you don't face it, oh man, you're not on solid ground. It's going to give way beneath you and you are going to go under. You're just going to swoosh and then, and then everything is out of your hands. If you don't decide, someone else is going to decide for you. That's what the cards are actually telling me. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Now, I think that it's time to go in and get some water. There is absolutely no breeze out here. Just trickling down sweat. I have enjoyed this. I really have. Heat and all. I love this new deck of cards. My son had given me um, my son had given me a gift certificate to Amazon. He says, go get you something you really like. And that is the wisest thing to do because I can pick out a tarot deck. Yay! So these are actually from my son for Mother's Day. So thank you, John. And until next time, I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope you connect with it. Be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube or somebody knows that I'm here. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.